Linda's Prepper Kitchen. I have been busy around here the last few days. Um, I have, um, if y'all remember, um, I put a video up telling y'all about my pantry floor and uh, the abundance of people that told me that I needed to redistribute the weight around, remove the freezer, um, lighten the load in there. So that's what I've been working on. I did, like I told you, I did, I moved the freezer out of there. And when I did, I pulled out a bunch of meat that was, if it wasn't from 2022, I pulled it and canned it up. Um, so there was a lot of, a few 2020s in there, um, but there was um, quite a bit of 2021s in there. Um, so I pulled those out and that's what I've been pressure canning. As well as I did do a meat haul from Sam's, I pressure canned some of that. Some of that went back into my freezer. Um, so I've been busy with that. I've been just busy, busy around. <laughs> For me, I've been busy, y'all. <laughs> but as you see, um, we are now um, considered enemies of China. Um, but I don't think we've really ever been the best of friends. Um, but as enemies of China, um, I just felt it was more important than ever to focus in on um, what I'm doing around here as far as um, prepping and that includes my house like I told you I've been canning I've been moving things around I need to do some dating and 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 things on some of my preps um, there's a lot more to be done um, I need to get some dehydrating down on my um, dehydrators I still have not put the eggs down I plan to put those eggs on that dehydrator after I'm finished with this video I have a lot of plans a lot of things going through my mind uh, things I need to do because I mean, we just don't know when it, it, things are going to pop off and we have to depend on our pantries and we have nothing else that we can get. Um, I did, however, call in some prescriptions today. I want to stay on top of those, y'all. I want to urge you to stay on top of yours. If you can call them in and get them uh, filled a week early than what you did last month, eventually that's going to accumulate and keep, the, keep doing that. Eventually you're going to accumulate an extra. And if you keep on and keep on, um, eventually you can maybe get your little stockpile of your uh, prescription medicines. Um, if you can't do that, then maybe look to see what alternatives you maybe can get over the counter, which unfortunately there are a lot of things out there that um, um, you can't get over the counter for. And, and mine are, my health issues are those. You can't, you can't buy over the counter to treat my, my health issues. Some of them you can, <laughs> but the main ones I need, you can't. So, um, I'm trying to get on top of that. Um, I want to make sure I'm getting more dehydrated foods down, getting those put up in jars. Um, just checking everything and um, making lists, making carts. Um, I'm not able to fill my carts completely every time I go into my carts, but I can pick and choose and it helps remind me, hey, I need this. Because I can make list after list, even if it's on my phone, I forget it's there or I forget to grab it. So I tend to forget what I have, but if I go in as I make it an order and there it is, that just kind of helps out and maybe that might help you too. So we still have ample opportunity. It's still here. Things are still um, on the shelves, um, but I do urge you, anything that comes out of China, Russia, any of those places over there, um, maybe um, you should go ahead and get the things that you need. Um, but I wanted to, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and I want to show y'all what I've been doing and, um, just chit chat. So let me get you up and I'm going to take you over here and I'm going to show you all the things I've done. So here's just a kind of a quick glance at it. I also, these were actually done like a few days before I did all of these. But here I did, I got chicken breast. Um, I've got meatloaf, y'all, that is controversial. Um, if you do meatloaf, do it at your own risk. <laughs> I like meatloaf, and it's turned out and worked well for me. And, um, I think it'd be a treat, and it'd already be, have everything I need in it. I wanted to put it on my shelf, so I did meatloafs. I also have done some stew beef. These are all stew beef, so I'm happy to get these on my shelf. Also, I have done more brats. There's the brats. And these are more chicken breasts. Actually, um, those over there that I showed you, 
Those were actually chicken thighs, not chicken breast. Um, but here are the some more boneless skinless chicken breast. And y'all, I'm so proud of myself. I took a whole turkey, and I want to tell you, I did find turkey at Walmart. I'm going to leave a clip in right here. Hey guys, I just want to let you know I'm back here editing this video. I have lost the clip of the turkeys at Walmart. Um, I believe they were $1.98 a pound. Um, so check your Walmarts. Maybe you can go ahead and get some turkeys. Um, sorry about the lost footage, y'all. As you see, they had turkeys, and I think it was $1.98 a pound. But anyway, I cut it up. Uh, I got the um, breast meat off of it, and I canned it up. That's the first time I've ever done turkey. So I'm really excited about it. These are the turkey legs, the turkey breast, turkey breast. These are, this is a wing and a thigh. Yes, I'm going to get me another one and get it canned up too. Here is more chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Y'all, I think as far as my pressure canning meats is concerned, I have the most of the chicken breast and then the ground beef. So, I do have a substantial amount of that. So, I will be eating a lot of that. So, I'm going to be focusing on different meats. This is that pork tenderloin that I showed y'all in my Sam's haul. I got two, four, six, seven jars out of that. And those are all the things that I've been canning up. I do, I do have um, some um, broccoli and um, um, eggs, um, different things that I need to get thrown down on the dehydrators. Um, I do have plans also to, um, I want to do ham. I want to try to find me a ham and I want to do some of those. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try to focus on other kinds of meats other than the ground beef and the chicken. So, those are the things that I'm doing and, and trying to focus on, just trying to keep busy and keep on keeping on, as I say, um, around here. And I wanted to touch in and say hi and see how y'all are doing and, and maybe get some ideas from y'all. So, please let me know in the comments below, what are you doing? Are you prepared? Um, and, um, yeah, just let me know what you're doing to get prepared. Y'all keep on keeping on. I'll see you next time back at Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Bye, everyone.